Hey folks, Chris here. Today I'm going to take you with me while I do my maintenance on my leopard gecko cages and show you how we do that. Everything you said we already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off. Alright, we're going to start the maintenance here with the Walking Dead Leopard Gecko enclosure. This is our 50 gallon low boy. It's got three females and one male. It's our breeding group. And first thing we're going to do here is we're going to grab the water bowl. And we're going to go take it and soak it in hot water while we do maintenance on the rest to make sure any bacteria in there is killed off. Alright, while we got that soaking, now we're going to go through the lay boxes here and check and see if we have any eggs. Shouldn't be yet, because it's not quite warm enough for them to start breeding, but we'll check anyway. You can see down there in the substrate, there's been no digging or anything taking uh, place, so I really doubt there's any eggs. There's one of our females there. Yeah, as you can see, there's no places dug up or built up, so most likely no eggs there. All right, let's check this side. There's our one of our other females. Down there's another female. And this is our big male, Onda. And then we'll check the lay box here, just like the other side. Doesn't look like they've been digging on this side either, but I do see some poop here, so that's where they're gonna be pooping at, so we need to change a little bit of that out. The way we're gonna do that, I just got this little bowl here. I'm just gonna scoop this little area out where they've been pooping in. Scoop as much of the poopy stuff out of there as I can. I think I got it all. Okay, now we're gonna just scoop some of this other over here for now. And then we'll replace it with some more here in a little bit. This stuff is nice and damp. This is their, also their cool spot. Still nice and damp and cool for them. And over here, I got them right by this window here. That way they got get some actual natural sunlight and get some heat through that window. And now we're gonna go dump this out. I just dumped this out in the outside. That way it can just be returned to the earth, recycled. Now that we got the tiles back on, make sure they're, they still got some calcium in their bowl there. They still do. I just keep a small bowl of calcium in there, that way that they can get to it anytime they want to. Uh, they'll know when they're deficient in calcium and they'll go grab some. They just lick it up a little bit. Uh, now we'll redo the decorations, which nobody said anything this week about wanting uh, uh, suggestions about certain ways to set it up or anything. So we're going to do it our own way and if nobody suggested this week then I'm just going to do it my own way from now on and I won't really ask for suggestions anymore.
got the group taking Negan back to base. We got Morgan over there killing a walker. We got Rick here with Lucille and his rifle watching over the group. Uh, any suggestions for next week? Go ahead and put them in the comments below. If we don't get any suggestions for next week, I probably won't be doing the character update anymore. Uh, let me know if y'all want to keep seeing that or if that's something that I should just do away with and work more on different types of videos. Alright, let's get their water bowl back in and then we'll get them fed here in a little bit and that's the end of maintenance for this tank. I was going to show you how to clean the glass but unfortunately I couldn't find my glass cleaner. I'll have to go out and buy some uh, but what I can tell you is that what you do is put the glass cleaner on your rag first and then clean the glass that way you don't spray any into the enclosure but any type of glass cleaner works fine just put it on the rag first and not spray it onto the glass you can do it inside and outside with any type of glass cleaner and it's perfectly fine as long as you do it that way right, for this enclosure we're going to start the same as what we did with the other except for we're going to take the food bowl as well and we're going to go soak it in there I leave the food bowl in here because this has got babies in it and they eat a lot more than the parents do. Let's go take these. We're going to go soak them in scalding hot water while we're doing all the rest of the maintenance. Now what we're going to do while that's soaking is we're going to check this area back here. This is their cool hide area. Uh, these are all babies and everything and the one that's adult in here is a male. So I don't have to worry about uh, eggs or anything like that checking for eggs i just got to make sure that this is nice and moist for them still not too wet but just moist and it seems like it's pretty good maybe actually a little too wet so i don't need to wet this back down or anything whenever i finish up here um, next thing we're going to do since i use paper towels down there as the substrate in this tank i'm going to move the rocks and everything off of that and onto this tile area here and then we're gonna take the paper towels with the poop and where they've been peeing and everything, take all that and go uh, throw it in the trash. Now we got those moved, let's get these paper towels. Let's get these geckos off of this area first so we can get to the paper towels. Come on guys. All right. up here any that you didn't get try to get it now while you still got these old paper towels in your hand we're going to be using newspaper for substrate this time I'm out of those blue shop towels but you could use any uh, type of paper towel the white ones the blue shop towels you can use regular newspaper this type uh, really anything uh, they don't they're not gonna try to eat it or anything so the ink's not gonna hurt them uh, let's get this in here and we'll continue on and then we'll cover the we'll cover the connecting areas right there we'll cover those up with some rocks and uh, try to blend it in and it's not the most aesthetically pleasing solution but it works and it's easy to maintain that way and uh, it's cheap best of all it is cheap all right let's go get their uh, food bowl and their water bowl back in here and this cage will be done all right we got those soaked for about 10-15 minutes now they're looking all good Let's get them back in here. I like these corner bowls here. You can just put them in the corner there. They don't take up quite as much space. Then we'll put their water bowl in a similar area. I think I'll put it over here this time. The stick can move. Put the water bowl right there to help hold stuff down. Move that tile back. Let's go grab some water and fill it up and then we'll be good. <laughs> 